Hello and welcome to Nefarious Vaping and Fantasy featuring yours truly, Matter Hall. Let's jump into this video. So first things first, <clears throat> that intro was way longer than I expected it to be, guys. But you know, especially the ladies out there, when you hear your song come on, you just have to listen to it to that certain point. <laughs> it actually kind of worked out for the video, so I can't complain. Um, yes, you guys, I do have on kitty ears. I'm feeling all extra cute today. So, But enough about me. Let's get into this video for this beautiful, beautiful mod known as the Puma by Vaporstorm. So I picked this up from uh, my best friend's vape shop. Shout out to Vape Town in Victorville, California. Um, they hooked me up with this. And it is a really cool mod. It reminds me of that one Wismic mod. I can't remember the name of it right now. It starts with an R. I'll have to put it down in the description box below. But it's very cute, very small, very compact. Ugh. On the top, you guys, we have the Smock Reza Prince tank in pink, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's just regular pink. Yeah, pink 040. How generic. Uh, anyway, so there's a whole story behind this tank as well, but I'll wait till the end of the review for that. So this mod was very affordable. Um, even at the vape shop, it was only like 50 bucks. I don't know how pricey or non-pricey you guys' you know, personal vape shops are, but I think it'll be about the same price online. I mean, it's a really cool mod and it's definitely worth the money. I've been using it now for a day and a half and I absolutely love it. So let's go over some specs for the mod and then we'll get into like the funny little quirks and things that I found about it. So it comes in eight colors and it comes in graffiti number one, graffiti number two, graffiti three, old story, camo gray, forever love, limited edition number one and limited edition number two. So here they are listed on the box. Oh my God, my camera's actually focusing. It's the seventh sign. Anyway, <laughs> so I actually picked um, this up and this is Graffiti 2. And I also picked up Graffiti 3, which is kind of like a blue and gray steampunk type look. It's really, really cool looking. Um, it takes two 18650 batteries. It goes up to 200 watts. And this is what you get in it. You get the box mod, the USB cable, and a user manual. Yeah. Doesn't come with much. I mean, it's just a mod, so can't really expect more than that. Um, the inside is, for though, because I had an issue, because you know we're all used to, especially us smock users, going and having something come out. Well, no, this one folds up and opens like that. The box is really cool. I collect all my boxes, so it's not going anywhere. But yeah, it's actually really cool. And guys, it has a chip in it that makes your batteries last longer. So for those of you out there who chain vape like moi, uh, this is gonna be a great mod for you. It's affordable, it's compact in size, it feels very light on the hand or in the hand even with the two 18650 batteries inside and the tank full of liquid. Um, so yeah, I would definitely, definitely tell you guys to get out and try this. Um, I'm gonna be trying more and more mods that I've never tried before because I'm done with Smock for right now. Um, I just, I can't with them and their defective quality products. <laughs> um, I did, uh, for an update for the video I posted yesterday, the little short review, or proof video as I call it, um, I did pick up another one. I got it replaced. This one we went through it with a fine tooth comb and we did find out that maybe it was just that one. But I'd still be careful with the way Smock's going right now. Um, this one's actually pretty cool. The Resident Prince, I might as well give it a small review since it's in the video on the mod. Um, it comes with one V12 Prince Q4, uh, the V12 Prince X6, and the V12 Prince T10 red light coil. Ooh. So remember the light up edition tanks by Smock, you guys, and they had the little bands and they were really annoying because you had to change them every time you want to change color? Well, they attempted to fix that by putting the light inside the coil, as you see here. And it only comes in red, from what I know. I have not found any other colors, but I think it's pretty nice. But it does eat away at your battery, which is where this little mod comes in. That chip is probably gonna help that. It's probably still gonna affect your battery uh, lifespan, but who cares? And one other quick thing, you guys, about this mod that I think is really, really cool. Um, they remind me of zebras, in a sense. They all have the same pattern, but no two Puma mods are the same, you guys. Give you a close up of the LED screen here. No two mods are the same. 
uh, for example, my friend Sean over at Vape Town, he was showing me his, and I was like, oh, yeah, I want the same one you have. And it was the red, white, and black graffiti pattern. And he had like a skull down here at the bottom, and he opened the box for the one I was going to get, and it was completely different from his. So I'm like, wait a second. So I kept looking at all of them, and I noticed all of them are different. So they must have like one huge sheet of pattern, and they just wrap it or whatever they, you know, do to make them. Um, the feeling of this mod is very soft. It has kind of like a velvet matte finish on it, which I really like. This is good for people that are known to drop their mods. Not that I ever put out there or encourage dropping your mod of any kind. But um, if you have it like rattling around in your purse or if you work construction or do anything like that, it can take a few hits from what I've heard from a few people that um, have bought this and they I kind of interviewed them about it. Um, it, like I said, it's, it just feels good. It's just, I love this mod, you guys. You guys need to get one of these just to have it. <laughs> um, and then, too, it has kind of like a, um, what's the word, guys? Engraving? Engraving? Imprint? Something like that? Um, right here on the side, it says vapes. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but you can kind of see it there. Um, it's just the detail and the quality of this mod, and for it to be so cheap i was just completely mind blown and my favorite thing i have taken off at least 20 tanks on this thing seeing which one i like the best and the 510 connection still works smock i joy yeah so a little recap remember how i told you guys how the 510 connection and everything was fine yeah no the iPriv died too so i'm just gonna leave those alone the ai mods until maybe late late this year like november december when they put out a new set and all the first generation ones are gone and they've been bought and returned because i just have a feeling that i'm gonna keep ordering them and they're just gonna keep dying or breaking or there will be something new wrong with them so um i'm going to keep you guys updated on that as soon as i get a new one i will do a new review for those mods even though they'll be old by then so um but i will keep you guys up to date on that uh, the Minion Mod video is still coming. I have not forgotten. I have made a decision that at least once a week, um, if I do multiple videos, that I'm going to have a theme. Like today, I'm a cat. <laughs> so, um, you know, new stuff. For my gaming subscribers out there, you may notice me in a slight cosplay <laughs> for my next few uh, vape review videos. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know and see the close-up on this little beauty definitely a wonderful wonderful mod you guys oh yeah that too i just noticed it when i put it closer to the camera it has like these little slots maybe it's like air ventilation for the batteries i'm not sure but you can see the color of your battery so seeing as one of the sides of my vape has like a pink which you guys probably know i hate pink but this pink is actually really nice it's not that sickening pepto bismol color that smock has been obsessed with since the expriv uh it's a very nice light pink and i had these batteries inside of it uh before and it looked really cool so you can like deck this little thing out you have all the detail they give you all the detail from whatever battery covers or wraps you have and of course the tank uh, like i said i like my shiny lights you guys even though i'm kind of Banging on smock, I still like this tank, uh, even though this coil was a pain in the ass to get in. So if you're like sitting for 10 minutes like I was trying to get the threads to catch each other, yeah, that, that's probably just normal. Because, yeah, they just, sorry for the brashness, but they just give no fucks anymore. <laughs> There's like zero fucks to give as long as they're making money. But yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. I just wanted to let you know all the new stuff about the Vapor Storm Puma. And you guys definitely need to get out and get one. Give it a try. You will not be disappointed, you guys. Um, I'm going to put information and website links down below in the description box. And I, of course, I will find the cheapest place to get it in America. That way, if you have a return, you don't have to worry about overseas shipping costs and all the other hassle that goes into that <laughs> but all right guys if you like this video feel free to like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions for me please leave them down in the comment section below and i will get back to you all right love you guys i'll catch you in the next video bye